Hi guys, welcome back and happy Friday. I wanted to change things up today and I wanted to film something that kind of showed you guys what I use for skincare because I've gotten a lot of messages um, about what I use for skin. So first off, this is my favorite brand in the entire world. Such a good brand. And the thing is, is it is for sensitive skin. It is for um, dry skin, it is for aging skin, so it's for anything, but this is their um, dry balm. Basically, it's a cleansing balm. Instead of stripping your skin, instead of sudsing up, it actually kind of just lays on the skin, but it also cleans it, keeps it very soft, keeps it very supple. Afterwards, if I pat my skin, it feels like a baby's bottom. I guess that's the way to say that. <laughs> I think this was around $15, $20, like amazing amazing product for a great price. So actually, quick little backstory. I had no idea what micellar water, and I really hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I think it's micellar water. But I just, um, I had to read up on it and figure out why all the makeup artists were using it. Everyone was ranting and raving about it. Actually, it does really well on cleaning. Um, I use it as a cleaner, also as a toner, also um, as a makeup setter. Sometimes I'll put it in a spray bottle and just spray it. It gives me that fresh, dewy look. Um, this brand specifically is a French brand. How pretty is this bottle? This is um, by the company Crystals. Yeah, Crystal Cosmetics. Um, it is 24 karat gold. I don't know if you could see the little gold spots in it, but um, very, very pretty, very goes on, like very smooth. The thing is, is I usually will put this on after a mask because it kind of seals in everything. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> smells really good, looks really nice. I will let that dry and then I'll show you guys what my hand looks like in a second. While I'm doing that, gold is so in right now. It's really cool. I totally would rather put gold on my face than anything else. Um, but this is the Eye Perfecting Cream. Super pretty bottle. Let's see if I can... Also smells really good. They actually smell the same. Um, but this has little carrot, little carrots in it. It has little carrots in it. Um, of gold, I guess is the way to say that. It's also really moisturizing. It's very pretty. And the thing is, it's like when I put it on, it not only moisturizes, but it also like gets that glowy effect. We all want to be glowy. For when I don't want to be glowy, which I don't know who doesn't want to be glowy. <laughs> um, Kios. Very good. The thing about this texture though is it goes on it's like a thick paste and then it kind of just almost immediately melts into the skin and becomes like water and then tightens again. It's interesting. It's a very interesting texture, but it makes me definitely when I wake up in the morning, I don't wake up with puffy eyes at all. Of course, I cannot go without this brand. With, like seriously, I use their toner. They have a really cool mask actually that for uh, moisture. Again, it's very, very, very dry and I would get these forehead wrinkles. And I started using the mask and honestly got rid of the forehead wrinkles, which is really cool. So this is actually drying. I don't know if you can see the sheen, but it's not sticky at all. It's very pretty. It almost feels kind of like an oil, but it's not an oil. So it just makes your skin, it's actually really pretty under makeup too. I know Josie Moran. She has this uh, Argon Finishing Balm. It's beautiful. It's got a pearly finish to it. I put it on before and I put it on after my makeup. And for masks, actually, I told you earlier that I do use um, the number sevens mask, which is it's a very it's for very very dry skin. So you put it on. The actually the time is for three minutes. I leave it on for ten minutes, and then I go to bed, and it's so soft. The problem I have with the mask is that you're able to put them on, but they only hit like key points, and I want them to get in the creases. Also what's really cool is after, it comes with so much product in the mask, that after you're done using the mask, they actually tell you to dump it into a bathtub, so your whole body gets enveloped with awesome ingredients and gold. That's about it for my skincare. I really do try to, I have certain steps that I use all the time, and then I kind of veer off the steps. and end up trying new products, but I absolutely love to try new products. That's my thing is I'll go to Ulta or I'll go to Sephora or I'll find something online. Never had a bad experience where I've tried something and like broken out or gone red. Those are some of the products I recommend. Um, and for freckles too, you have to keep sunscreen on. Don't get me wrong, I still get the acne here and there. Everyone does. 
I will see you guys next Friday. Bye. Mwah.